Blend and read. Let's look at the words in line one. Read them with me now. Magnet. Plastic. Rabbit. Insect. What do you notice about the words? Yeah, they're kind of long, I notice. You know, when I count them out, magnet, plastic, rabbit, insect. Oh, all of the words have two syllables in them. Hmm, let's take a look at the word magnet. Where would you break it up? Yes, between the two consonants. G and N. Magnet. Let's look at insect. Where would you break it up? Once again, between the two consonants, N and S. Insect. You know, I remember from earlier this week that we learned that when you have syllables, each syllable has to have its own vowel. What is the vowel in the part in? Yes, it's the I, I. And in the word set, in the syllable set, what is the vowel there? Yes, the E that makes the short E, E sound. In, set. Great job. Let's look at line two. Read it with me now. Traffic, window, picnic, yellow. What do you notice about these words? Once again, they are all long words. And they all have two syllables. Count them with me. Traffic. Window. Picnic. Yellow. Great job. You know, I noticed in traffic and yellow that they both have two letters that are the same. Like in traffic, there's two F's. In yellow, there's two L's. You know, in the word traffic, we would say traff. Thick. So we would split it right between the two F's. What about the word yellow? That's right. We would split it between the two L's. We would say yell low. Great job. Let's look at line three. Read it with me now. Scold. Groan. Slight, groan. What do you notice about some of these words? Yes, we have the word groan, G-R-O-A-N, and the word groan, G-R-O-W-N. The two words say the exact same thing, groan, but they're both spelled differently. One has an O-A and one has an O-W. And they both mean different things. The first groan with an O-A means, oh, like when you groan like that. The second one with the O-W means groan like you have grown taller. Fantastic. Let's look at the words in line four. Read them with me now. Target, carpet, garden. You know, as we read these words, once again, I notice that they all have two syllables. I kind of think that when I'm looking at longer words, it's easier to sound them out if I look at the first syllable. Like in target, the first syllable is tar. So if I can get char sounded out, then I can sound out get, and I can put them together and make the word target. Let's look at the sentence in line five. 
Read it with me now. Some insects can harm crops. Now let's read the sentence in line six. A few of us farm in our yards. Nice job reading these longer words today. I'm really proud of you.